Okay, today we are going to learn how to make an object follow a curve with geometry nodes. Let's open Blender, delete everything, and let's create a curve. For example, a circle. Don't worry, later we are going to change the path. Now let's go to geometry nodes, let's close this, and let's create a new profile. First of all, we are going to convert this curve to a mesh, so we can see the path. So to make this, let's find, search A, curve to mesh. This convert the curve to a mesh, but we need to give a profile to have a shape. So let's put, for example, circle. Really important, curve circle, not mesh. Let's make it smaller, so let's decrease this. For example, 0 0.5. Perfect. Now we can see our curve. So let's put some order. Control G, F2, curve, mesh. This converted our curve to mesh. Easy, right? Perfect. Now, we want an object to join this geometry. So we need to put another node like join geometry to combine two geometries, this ring, and an object following the path. So, for example, we are going to do it with a point. So let's find points. And let's connect it with the join geometry. So we have two geometries, the path and the point. The point will be our object. Later we are going to change the object, don't worry. But first let's make that this object follows the path. So how we can do that? Here we have the position, so we can change the position of the point. So maybe we can do something like, hey, can you update this position with the position of the path, of the curve? Yes, how we do that? We need to create a node here, that it's called sample curve. This node, basically, what does is to analyze all the curve. Basically, it takes the position tangent normal. So, if we get the position of all the points in this curve, we can update it with the position of the point. Oh, this is the output. So, if we touch this, basically, what it's doing is to sample from the beginning until the end. But now we cannot see it because it's not connected with anything. But we can connect the position, the output, with the position of the R point. So it's updated. So now it's connected. And if we touch this, the factor, you can see that the position of the point, it's been updated for the sample curve. From the beginning until the end. Perfect. Now we know how to make an object follow a path. Let's put some order and let's call this animation and this object. Perfect. Now, I know you don't want a single point because it's really ugly and you want your beautiful object. So let's create an object, for example, a monkey. Let's make it a bit smaller and let's add it here. So how we convert this to an object? Really easy, with instance on point. So first, let's put, for example, a node instance on points and connect it here. This will convert our point to an instance. Which instance? This one. We drag this here and we connect the geometry with the instance. Okay, first, let's hide the original object. And to make it smaller, click here and make it smaller. For example, something like that. Let's put this here and this here, because all this is our object. Also, this is the number of objects. But if you click here, all the objects are together. And in this case, we only want to animate one object. In a future tutorial, I will explain how to animate different objects. Cool. We have the animation, the objects, and the curve mesh. However, if we touch this, it's moving, but it's not in the right direction. So how we can fix this? It's really easy. We need to put something here in the rotation that it's been updated with the rotation of this sample curve. So how we do that? Connecting tangent with rotation. And if we touch this, hmm, more or less it's working, but not perfect. Because we need to add another node. Don't worry, we almost finished. So to fix this, we need to put something here that it's called align this one. Put it here 
And it's really important, don't connect it to rotation. This is really important. If not, it's not going to work. Connect it to vector. Really important. And to fix this, because it's still not working, so to fix that this is looking forward the curve, we need to click here. This one or this one? This one is better. And now look, it's looking, okay, it's looking backwards, it's following the rotation of the curve. So how we make that it's looking forward in the other direction? This is really easy. Just select your object and let's turn it 180 degrees. So let's press R, Z, 180. Intro. And to update this, Control A, Apply Rotation. And now we change it. We can hide this. And finally, we have an object following a path in the same direction. Here you have all the setup. Okay, I know you don't want a simple circle. You want a cool path. So now it's really easy. Just select the path, go to Edit Mode, and press A, delete everything, and now you can create whatever you want. Look. And look how it's updated, as you can see. Also, you can create it with other tools, like this one, for example. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project in my Patreon. So, see you in the next video.